All right, everybody, this is a case TR270 skitter. Uh, of course, you open up the engine bay and there's nothing in there. So you can identify it pretty easy. If you look at this control panel, here's a control panel sitting there right in front of us. And what we did was we went into the back of this. We found a red and which was hot and orange for ignition. We actually cut this down and we have it fused up inside. And we actually, we're gonna take the box and mount it up here out of the way. It'll still get a great signal. You can still see the uh, green light just flashing away. So it's out of sight, out of mind. This will all go back together really nice. And uh, that's it. That's how we do this machine. Um, you can probably get to the back of the key switch. It's just up there. It's very awkward to get to. So that's why I went for the, uh, the simple method. Uh, self tap the ground right behind it. There's a metal post and that's pretty much it. So there's your, uh, there's your case 270. And now that this is all finished, we've got the device mounted up in there. I want you to just look, that's with the key on. We're getting a good satellite count. Getting like 12 satellites right there. As you can see, everything is on, it's ready to fire up. And this machine will start. Which tells us everything is good, everything is fine. A little flash from the LED. And that's it, gang. That's the uh, the 270. But I wanted you to see all that because it worked out really well. It was kind of intimidating at first. Yeah, the box is sticking out a little bit up here. That's okay. This is fine. Um, we'll seal that hole up with a little bit of ribbon sealer. We put that hole in the side. Yeah, we could have gone up and through, but the problem was is um, we didn't want to open this up any further than it needed to be. So it was just easier to do the hole and a little bit of ribbon seal around it and we're good to go. Enjoy.